Hi, my name is Leilani and I'm going to address a very difficult question that someone has recently asked me and that is, can Down syndrome be cured? Now, for a lot of people, this is a very simple answer to give. And for a lot of people that don't understand what Down syndrome is, it's a very hard one. Now, as a mom of a child who has Down syndrome, I know that when you're pregnant, it's very difficult. And when a mom finds out that they have a child with Down syndrome, usually their first question is, how do I reverse this? Mostly because they don't understand it is a genetic disorder. A genetic disorder cannot necessarily be reversed. It can't. Why did I say necessarily? It, like, can't can't be reversed. At least right now it can't. It's a genetic disorder where there is a replication, a copy of chromosome 21. Now I have a whole video talking about this with my daughter. I'm gonna stick a link up in the iCards as well as the description box below. So if you're curious about that, make sure to check those out. Now some of the traits that occur when someone has Down syndrome is they have a small cerebellum and that has to do with motor skills as well as a 40% smaller hippocampus. That's gonna be your memory and your space. Now, as I started researching this, I did come across an article by Science Daily, and they were claiming that there might be an experimental compound that reverses some of these traits in Down syndrome children, and they did this with an experiment with mice, because mice are just like humans. I'm gonna stick the article down below, and you can read it for yourself. Well, here's basically what happened. They genetically engineered mice to have basically Down syndrome. It was similarities to Down syndrome. They had a small cerebellum. They had a small hippocampus. They had a really difficult time remembering things, short-term memory. They couldn't remember the end of the maze. So what they did is they injected them with a compound at birth, which would actually make the cerebellum grow. It's actually called Sonic Hedgehog Pathway Agonist, or SAG for short. Yeah, that's what it's called. And this compound actually affects the Sonic Hedgehog Pathway, Drosophila. That's what it's called, Drosophila. But we can call it Sonic Hedgehog Pathway. There's, there's, it's really, it's really complicated. There's a lot of science there that I do not understand. But I know there's like sonic proteins or hedgehog proteins and um, this compound affects it and makes the cerebellum grow. But there are of course side effects. It's not like a win-win, hey, cerebellum grew and you can't really notice they have Down syndrome because the Down syndrome actually doesn't go away. When the mice were actually injected, yeah, great, we got that. But there were some other things that happened. There was an increased rate of cancer. Other parts of their body grew like, you know, they would get an extra nose or an extra beak, maybe an extra head, two, two, face, two faces, because it just made things grow. I'm not letting my daughter take that. I'm just gonna just put that out there. My daughter's not taking that. But like I said before, even though there is this compound that is being experimented with, it's not gonna cure. Down syndrome because Down syndrome is a genetic condition in the genes in the chromosome can't change that however there are treatments and there is a difference between cures and treatments treatments can be anything from speech therapy occupational therapy aqua therapy physical therapy that's gonna help her build muscles help them develop skills different ways of coping and quite honestly these kids and adults are determined to do what they love and what they want to do. It's gonna sound so hokey and cliche. I'm gonna say it though. I feel like God gave them that because they need it. They need more motivation than I do to do things. It's just, my daughter is so determined to get what she wants. She used to work harder. Go ahead, Naomi. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. Eyes. And it makes her an amazing, amazing, admirable person. There are so many people out there that have Down syndrome who have done things like driven cars, gymnastics, modeling, painting, photography, written books, read books, gone to college. Why do we need a cure? And why do we even want to look for one? I don't know the answer to that. I'm sure some people have answers. I get that. 
but <laughs> so leave me some comments down below this is a very hot button topic it is with a lot of very strong, strong opinions behind it. So feel free to share those as long as they're appropriate. And I'm gonna stick some videos around my face right now that you can check out. Our channel is about our journey. I am a mom of four kids. My youngest does have Down syndrome. I am a former public and private school teacher. I do homeschool evaluations in the state of Florida and I am a homeschool mom. So I share our journey, what we're learning, things that can help you guys out as well as talking about this topic because it is something. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Thank you so much. I will see you guys in our next video. Bye. Can you blow it? It doesn't blow, but can you smell it? Can you smell it? Hey.